Thank you for purchasing OnePager. This video will explain how to install OnePager and how to activate the software once it's been installed. First, make sure that you have permission to download and install executables at your company. If not, you may need to reach out to your own internal help desk for assistance with this step. Next, find the email from OnePager that contains your software download and activation instructions. This was sent to you when you originally purchased the software. If you've misplaced it, you can request a replacement download by going to OnePager.com forward slash support and clicking on the Replacement Download button. Once you have the download email, you'll see a link to download the software. Click the link and you should see the download start automatically. Once the download is complete, double-click on the OnePager installer to run it. An installation wizard will launch. Once you've accepted our license agreement, you'll be asked a couple of questions about how you want OnePager to be installed. First, do you want to install OnePager only for yourself or for everyone on your computer? We generally recommend selecting Just Me, since most users have permission to install software only for themselves. However, if you're an IT administrator, you can choose Everyone as appropriate. Second, do you want the option to launch OnePager as an add-in to either Microsoft Project or Excel? If so, select the first option. If you only want to use OnePager as a standalone desktop application and disable the option to launch it as an add-in, select the second option. We typically recommend the first option as it provides the most flexibility. Now click Next and the installation process will finish. You can verify that the installation completed successfully by locating the OnePager shortcut on your desktop. You can also verify your installation by launching either Microsoft Project or Excel and making sure that OnePager appears on your Add-ins tab, assuming you selected the Add-in option when you installed. Now that OnePager is installed successfully, we just need to launch and activate it. Otherwise, it will stay as a trial license and will eventually expire. From the Start screen, click on Help, Get Standard License, and then Request License Key. You'll be directed to a page on our website where you can request your unique, computer-specific license key. Please fill out your information as completely as possible. Your order number is very important here as it serves as your proof of purchase that our system needs in order to successfully generate your key. If you're a new user and do not have an order number, you will need to obtain one before requesting your key. If you're a new user and this is your first time requesting a license key under this purchase, identify yourself as a new user. If you've had a OnePager license previously and are simply reinstalling and rekeying on a new computer, you can indicate that you are requesting a replacement key instead. Now is a good time to opt in to updates about new versions of OnePager when they're available and to other periodic communications like our blog and newsletter. Just so you know, we never rent or sell your information. Once the form is complete, click on Request Key. Assuming all of your information was entered correctly, you'll see a key immediately on the screen, and a copy of that same key will be sent by email within just a few minutes. Copy and paste that key into the second box of the OnePager license form and press the Activate License button. You'll receive a message that the license key has been successfully activated. If there is a problem with your license key, your request will be forwarded to our licensing desk and you'll receive your key by email once the issue is resolved. For questions on activating your OnePager license, you are welcome to contact licenses at OnePager.com or visit OnePager.com forward slash support for additional assistance.